Hi Flosstube, it's Erin to Martini Stitcher and I am here for a Flosstube Special Edition Whip Parade, woohoo! Um, so this isn't like my regular weekly update video, I'm gonna film that actually a little later today, um, but I had asked last week, someone had asked about my Whip album, which I thought maybe they were referring to the one on Magical Stitches, because for Magical Stitches, you need to have a photo album that has at least one up to 20, a maximum of 20 um, whips, and we sometimes use them for homework. And I had asked last week, in last week's Floss Tube, if people were interested in like a full whip parade. <laughs> Overwhelming response was, yes. <laughs> You guys all love a whip parade, don't you? So um, I figured I would do like a special whip parade. So it would be, because I seriously, I always think that I don't have much to talk about. And then I ramble for a very long time in my regular Floss 2 videos. So um, just water for right now. Cocktail later. It's not quite happy hour yet. Um, I tend to ramble a little bit in my regular Floss 2 video, so I thought I would do this separate and people who wanted to watch it could watch it. Um, and then it won't make my regular update this week too long. So I'm going to show you guys all the works in progress, everything that I have going on. I also brought over um, things that I plan to start. So planned starts for the next like, I don't know, month or so, as well as everything that I have kitted up. And ready to go. So I, in preparation for this, I'll show you guys what I keep all my whips in. So I keep them in this Loggenberger basket with a lid, as you can see. Oh, sorry, that really jostled the camera, didn't it? It doesn't quite fit, and there are a couple <laughs> extras. Usually, this sits next to my stitchy spot, and usually the last like couple things I've worked with sit on top of it um, or the things that I'm going to be working on that week are sitting on top of it. So I'm just going to open this puppy up. I have a couple extra sitting next to me and these are going to be in no particular order. Uh, I'll just show you everything I have going. So let's just do it. Yay. I, I won't probably put in the comments this week all the information because I'm going to try to do a real good job about telling you guys what the fabric is and what the threads are and everything as we go through the whip parade and I just don't really want to type all that out. Love you guys, but I don't think I'm typing all that out. So, all right, up first, Harry Potter book covers. You guys know this. I think it's a fan favorite, so this is what it's going to look like. Oh, as I wave it at you, this is what it's going to look like. When done, this is the only big full coverage project I have going. And this is where I'm at with it. Now, look, colors. I am so excited, guys, like purple and reds and blues. This is my reward for months and months. You guys can see, oh, from last week, I did. I got that page finish. I'll talk about this in my update, too. And I moved the cue snaps. And I took pictures, uh, I'm put them on my Instagram, which is also two martini stitcher of like the whole big piece of fabric. So that's up on my Instagram. If you want to see like the whole piece with the tiny little bit that I have done, but I did get that page finished and I'm onto the next page and I'm getting rewarded with new colors. It's my reward for months of stitching Brown. So, so that's Harry Potter book covers. This is by Fox and teacup designs. They have a web page. You can order this. This is the super size max color chart. So there's like a regular chart that isn't as many colors. There's a mini version. There's the British book cover. So if you prefer the British illustrations, uh, there's a version that's the British book covers. I'm stitching it on 18 count easy grid, Ada with all of the called for DMC calls for DMC flosses so that's nice and I keep the flosses I didn't bring them over separate in like a separate box like it has its own box it's labeled Harry Potter book covers I don't know how many colors it is I want to say it was like 96 colors somewhere around that I mean it's hate ish territory for colors so there's that one um next up in so much to love my martini 
bag is Silver Creek Samplers, my Christmas list. So there's that one. I started that, I don't know when I started that. I should have brought all my stuff over. I really do want to get a journal going that says when I started everything, when I finished everything. I have one, I need to just actually sit down. But I didn't bring my calendar over. So this is where I'm at on this. I've actually been working on that this a little bit this week. Um, this is on 16 count Ren, 16 count Ada in Ren by Picture This Plus with the called for DMC flosses. Um, so far, the only substitution I've made, and I just did that, that this week, is the snowflakes. Um, it calls for B5200, like um, there and there, but the snowflakes, I went out and got, um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the bit of sparkle, but I went and got some of the, that DMC um, Etoile I don't think that that's showing up, but it does sparkle in person. So it's the white isn't as bright. So it's like the Blanc version of the Etoile that has a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, it shows up better in person than it's showing up on camera. Uh, and you can see the sparkle. So the white isn't as bright, but it has a little sparkle to it. So I'm gonna use that for um, the snow in the background and um, Probably a couple other places. I might use it on Santa's hat uh, and possibly the angel wings, I think would be fun if they were sparkly. So that is that one. And um, this is the first time I've used the Etoile and it's way easier to stitch with than metallic. I haven't had any problem with it at all. I really like it. I will use it for more. I might even get the whole tin. I don't know. Where am I gonna stack all this stuff? Hmm. The floor, I guess. Okay. Next up is, see this is all the stuff I've been working on recently. So, um, I actually have two projects in here. I'll have to put it aside because one of them's a plan. So, Sophia by Summerhouse Stitchworks. And this one I started, last Saturday, Sunday, for Deborah Stitch the Stash for her birthday. She was actually doing a la -di da for her birthday start, and I think a lot of people were doing a la -di da design, but um, I thought this would be fun because she's also stitching this, and it was what she was working on when we got to stitch together in New York, and I told her I had it and was gonna start it, so I thought it'd be a fun birthday start for her. So um, this is how far I got, and you guys can see I actually started. So this is 32 count, let me see, I have the tag in here. Mm. It's in here somewhere. It's 32 count mellow, if I picture this plus. I'm pretty sure that that's, oh, I know where it is. It's in my Pitsy Bob, because I pulled it, I had to cut the tag off. 32 count um, Lugana in the colorway Mellow by Picture This Plus, which I know I'd heard shrinks. The Picture This Plus, the way they dye it, shrinks up the holes. So normally with a 32 count, I would stitch two strands. So I started it with two strands and it was just tight. Like I like big full stitches, uh, but this seemed really tight to me. And so I thought, well, maybe it's more like a 38 because it shrunk. So let me try it with one strand. And I liked that a lot better. It's just, this was gonna get really hard. So I'll pull that out, but in the meantime, I just turned it around. So there's my start um, on Sophia. Oop. Um, and yeah. I'm doing this with the Call 4 DMC. It's like four colors and I'm excited. It's, I think it's gonna look so pretty on this fabric. Deborah's almost done with her. She has one leaf left and I have one leaf in. <laughs> so that's Sophia by Summer House Stitchworks. And now I'm gonna stick this over with plans because that's also plans. Okay, what else is out of the basket? Next up, Friends Collage. 
You guys have seen this before. This is a um, stitch along. Jen Upton's doing it. Um, uh, April Barnum. She doesn't do floss too, but she's on Instagram. So you can see she's done some of this on Instagram. And this is by, I'm going to butcher. Um, here we go. It's Anim Cross Stitch. That's their Instagram name, Facebook. Um, the designer is Anastasia Imanova. And that's, that's also their Etsy shop. So you can get this as a PDF download from Etsy. And I'm stitching it on 18 count white Ada with called for DMC. And this is where I am. And this is going to get some more work this week. I just started the um, Central Perk sign. So that's how far I am with that. And I'm going to use that again. This can get another 400 stitches for homework this week. So there'll be more progress on that when you guys see it next week. So this is going to be all like, <laughs> you guys are going to see a bunch of these again on my regular floss tube. Okay. So this one is, I haven't even like, I haven't shown this at all because it's really, I just pick at it. Um, I think I showed this like sort of as part of haul, even though it it's, was a free chart from Spruce Craft Company. I'm not lazy. I'm just in energy saving mode. So funny. Uh, and I had a friend had given me some of these like pre, like they come like this, the Ada on the wood frame. And this is like, I don't know, six inches or something like that. Probably about six inches. This is what happens when people know you cross stitch and they find stuff in their houses. They just randomly give it to you. So it came as a three pack. Looked like it came from Michael's or Joanne's or something. And I thought, well, what the heck? I'll give it a try. It's just a few colors of DMC. You guys can see it's like this is going super fast. Like I'm really just picking at this when I have like five or ten minutes. And I have three daughters and these came in a three pack. And so they're probably all getting one. Super cute. It's just a couple DMC colors. You'd easily sub them out for ones that you have in your stash. So, but I like it. That's bright and fun. When I finish one, I will probably just start another. Because <laughs> they're cute. All right, next. Next up is... Do, do. Sometimes I have multiple charts and stuff. Loads of fun by Hands On Design. And I have all three of them in here. Because this is a trilogy. So this is the one I'm working on right now. Is loads of fun. There's also the Never Ending Cycle. And Irony. These are so cute. I'm going to finish them. Something similar I found like it looks like washboard and I'm going to hang them on with little clothespins just like this. And I have room for all three of them in my laundry room. And I am doing these on 18 count, not 18 count, 32 count. It's right here. It says 32 count white Belfast. So I'm just doing it on 32 count white with the called for DMC. I'm almost done guys. Ooh, that needs an iron, doesn't it? Irony, the opposite of wrinkly, and this is very wrinkly. So all I have left is the little scrolly border down here and then some like backstitch lines, and that's it. Um, I really wanted to finish this last night, but I had to go to bed because I had to be up quite early this morning so to drive a daughter to dance. So this is going to get finished. As soon as I finish all my homework and the extra credit I'm working on, I'm going to finish this next week. Maybe I'll even FFO it. <sighs> that seems ambitious, but we'll see, maybe. So that one's almost done. And I'm really kind of counting these as like one whip. So even though these are all ready to go, like even though it's really three, I'm counting this as one. Oh, did I say that I had counted up my whips? I don't think I had. I'm a little woohoo today, guys, sorry. Um, so when I was getting everything pulled together and ready, I counted them. 
And I have 21, 22? 21 or 22. I can't remember whether I decided to count that little Spruce Craft Company one or not. It's I have either like 21 or 22 whips, which honestly is less than I thought that I had. I think I told you guys last week or the week before that I have like 26 or 27 was my rough guess. And I was guessing that based on the fact that I have 20 in my Magical Stitches whip album. And I knew that there were some that weren't in there that I had started because that album had to be updated at the beginning of July. And then we couldn't change it until the end of this book. So the end of this month, we couldn't change it. And I knew that I had started on some things in July and even this month that were not in that whip album. And so I thought mm, probably about 26 or 27. However, a few things in that whip album are now finished. Some of the things that I started that weren't in it, I have already finished. So 21, 22, 21 or 22, which is like, that's less than I thought I had. I was worried that doing this was going to start to freak me out about the number of whips I have. And I'm like, oh, well, that's not, I can totally start more. I can totally start more stuff. Which is good because wait till you see the pile of stuff I have kitted up ready to go. Um, but back to, I'm counting this as one. So as soon as one is done, I'm going to start another. So this is just an ongoing whip. I don't know which one I'm going to start next. I kind of want to do irony as the new wrinkly because that's super funny to me. So that's closed. So that's the laundry company series. Up next, ooh, this is like a sneaky, I feel like you guys are getting a little sneaky peek. I don't know when I'm gonna publish this though because I was thinking I might not do it till this weekend. So you guys may have already seen this in a floss tube or you're getting a sneak peek um, of a new start that I had this week, which is Ink Circles Arranging Vegetables, because this was number 11 in my whip album for Magical Stitches. So I had it kitted up and I put it in my whip album months ago, but I hadn't started it yet. So, um, and this, I wanna say for sure, this is the first thing I bought. I bought this probably back in March. This is one of the first things I bought with like fancy floss. I'm pretty sure because I bought like just the whole I bought that with like I did the thing on one two three stitch where you buy it and you say yes select all of it I didn't get fabric um but anyway so here is my start look I don't even have a needle minder on it good grief um so there's my start that's how far I got that's 300 stitches and I'm doing this on some this was also something that like somebody just gave me they were like, oh, you cross stitch. I'm cleaning out my craft closet and I don't stitch and I have this stuff. So it um, it said that it's Charles. It looked like it, it came in like a tube. So it looks like it came from like Michaels or Joanne or Ben Franklin or something like that. And it said Charles Craft 28 count even weave tea dyed linen, Irish linen. That's what it said. So it said, I mean, it's clearly a linen because there's like slubs in it. So it's linen, but it's kind of, it feels like a looser weave. It says Charles Crafts Irish linen. I don't know what that means. Tea dye. Um, I know I hear people talk about Weeks Dye Works linen, that they don't know what the base of it is, but it feels a little more loosey goosey. I've never used Weeks Dye Works linen. But that's what I, this is what I imagine they're talking about. Um, like the holes just seem bigger. I don't know. It's fine. It just means I have to be kind of careful about my back because you can see like that's doubled up. Like you can kind of see through a little bit. So I'm being real careful about not carrying threads because I think you'll see them um, through to the front. So I'm being careful about carrying threads. Uh, so that's what that is. That's 28 count. And I am using the called for, uh, overdies, which is all, I think, general arts. So that's arranging vegetables. And there wasn't really any reason I hadn't started it. It just, I just hadn't. And I like that whole series. Like there's a whole series. There's arranging the sewing room, arranging the kitchen aids. 
there's a whole series of them and they're all adorable and I would happily stitch all of them. Um, okay, next. Up is Block Party by Hands On Design. It's fun, I'm sure you guys have seen that. And I am doing this on 28 count flax linen. 28 count flax with all of the called for flosses, which is, is it all week Star Wars? Yes. And one DMC, but it calls for the DMC. So I'm doing that with all the called for flosses. I don't have a big start on this. I think I ended up using it for one homework. So that's all I have so far. It's just a couple little mice and a little border, little bird. Cute, 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 cute. I just want to have that next to my stitchy spot. I would maybe consider giving it to my oldest daughter who loves cats and sews a little bit. She's going to college, so maybe she can have it when she graduates and moves out. Okay. This is another whip that is really like 12 or 13 whips. And this is, but I'm counting as, well, I'll count it as two. So maybe I'm at now at 23. Am I now at 23? Uh, and that's the yearbook, the Lizzie Kate yearbooks. So I have the whole set. You guys, I showed you August. I had finished and I put in that teal frame stand. I think I showed it like two weeks ago. So now I'm working on September, hoping to get that done before September. And this is how far I am on that. So pretty good. Did I finish all the books? Yeah, I even finished all the book. Uh-oh, <laughs> I lost my bag. So I've got like the little animals left to do and the house and the border. I don't know, I'm halfway. I'm gonna call it halfway done. So maybe that'll get done. Um, but also the reason, oh, hang on, I grab a bag. These bags are slippery. So I have some nice project bags. Most of my stuff are in these guys. What are, what's the brand? I don't even know. That's what the tag looks like. Oh, oh that is, I will link that below because I get them on Amazon. I get like a 12 pack for like $14 or something like that. They're about a buck a piece. So, I mean, eventually I'll have pretty bags for everything, but I haven't hit the lottery yet. So I'm not buying 20 project bags. But, so I have September started. I also have, because I started in July as part of my like Jolly July or Christmas in July, I started December. And that was what I did that week in December and I haven't come back to it yet. I will. I will count this as two because while I have all of the yearbooks, I also have in this bag all of the seasonal Lizzie Kate ABCs. And I showed the summer finish in last week's video but I have the other four seasonal ones. So I want to get started on fall. Maybe like to put that out end of September, beginning of October. But I have, I had bought like a yard of this, which is 28 count flax. I'm sure it's 28, hold on. Yes, 28 count flax. You know, my go-to color. And I had bought like a yard of it and it was just the right amount for all 12 of the yearbooks plus the four seasonal ABCs. So I have all of the pre-cut fabrics in here along with all of the charts. And then as I finish one, I'll start the next one. Uh, these call for overdyes, all overdyed flosses. And I'm doing a mix of overdye and the DMC, mostly DMC. So there's DMC, plus a couple little bobbins that are old paper ones that are split and then I did pick a couple of overdyes that like bigger chunks like the pumpkin I thought would look better in overdyed and some of the other things so I do have some of the overdyes and when I show those or get to them I will put that in the comments below which ones I'm doing but mostly I'm using the DMC because they're tiny little motifs and I didn't think it was going to matter all that much. There you go. 
So that I'm counting as one, maybe two whips. It's really a whole bunch, but shh, everybody needs to know. It's fine. <laughs> because when I start, start, like when I finish one, I just start the next one. So it's really one because it's one series and they're little. Okay. I'm not counting it. I refuse. I refuse to count that as 16 whips. Well, it'd be 14 because I already have two done. Okay, next up is, I have the card over here, Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. This was a new start this month and we've had much discussion about to ABC or not to ABC in the comments and I'm thinking I'm going to not ABC. I, I am going to do my initials and the date, but, I, but I'm not gonna do the whole alphabet. So I'll move that up. There'll be less border to do, but this is how far I am. And I started this for Carla's black cat birthday sale. So, kind of get chunked on. I really love this. I'm realizing that all these things that I started thinking like, oh, well, I started in August, it'll go up for this, um, for this fall. No, no, it will not. And this is on 32 count. Winter's Brew, which I think is R&R. &R. So that's on 32 count Winter's Brew with, and I'm doing a mix of the called for Overdyes and DMC. So I kind of did the same thing. Like I just looked at the chart and if it looked like, like clearly here, the moon, that the Overdyes matter. So I bought the Ginger Snap. The house, it matters. But some of these like little tiny bits, and even this, this is the DMC because the overdyed was not very variegated at all. So that's DMC. So I kind of just made, it's not really a conversion at all. They give you the DMC on the chart and I just kind of made a judgment call on what I thought was worth the overdyed. Fancy plus and what was not. Also in this bag, because they share a couple of the overdyed colors is Lizzie Kate Tingles, which I'm also counting as one whip since I'm doing them all together. Even though it's like 12 blocks, six charts, I'm gonna do them all together like that. And this, I haven't I haven't stitched on this anymore since you guys saw it last week. So that's where it is. I'll get back to it eventually. And this is on 14 count Ada in the colorway Prank by Picture This Plus. And I'm using DMC with the exception, I'm using the DMC, it's charted for a week's dye works, but they give like the DMC conversion. And so I'm using the DMC with the exception of carrot, guacamole, and sweet potato. So those three colors, I'm using the overdyes and everything else. I'm using the DMC that they call for. So, oh, except as I noted last week, and I think it's just because of the fabric I'm using, instead of 3852 for curry, I'm using 743 because it was just too dark. So, and we talked about that last week. So, there we go. So that is the Lizzie Kate Tingles. Oh, <laughs> this one's fun. I don't even know. I can't even show you anything for this. Um, I guess I can show you the symbol guide for it. Stiatch, Stiatch along. First week came out last Saturday. There it is. Part one is done. And I am really going to try, like I'm I'm committed to staying, to not getting behind, like to doing this. It, and if it stays, like this was not that much. It was not that bad at all. Other than like blends and quarter stitches on Ada. Because mm, this is 16 count, 14 count. This is 14 count white Ada. Super exciting, but I had it in my stash 
And um, the creator of this Siach along recommended 14 or 16 count, or alternately like 2832. And a white, they said they did theirs on off white, white or off white. Just something about the way the blends are, that a crazy color, everything might not look as right. And uh, there's quarter stitches. So I thought on the 14 count, it's I, I feel find it easier to pierce the center of the Ada for a quarter stitch on 14. So there we go. Stiach along. There are some guesses out there already about what it is. If you want to go find out that I put my Waldorf. You don't mind her on there because he's kind of snarky and the vibe, the whole vibe of the group, it's super fun and I have it linked. I have the stuff linked, the blog and Facebook group and everything is linked in my last video. And, but the vibe of the group is a little irreverent. So if you're offended by cursing or that type of thing, it's maybe not the group for you, but if you have a kind of snarky sense of humor, you might enjoy it. So that's Stiach. Next. Next up is Quaker Geometric Puzzle by Ink Circles. They provide two different colorways. I'm doing this one, the bigger one. And I am doing this on, do I have it in here? Mm. I do. 32 count white Lugana. <laughs> so for saying, I'm glad I found the tag for that. 32 count white Lugana. And this was my very first thing on even weave. So, and here's how far I am. I worked on this a lot on my New York trip. I haven't touched it since then, but I got a lot of progress on my New York trip. So, I mean, I'm still haven't even finished the first page, but there we go. So that's that on 32 count white Lugana with the called for DMC. So it calls for DMC, that's what I'm using. And it gives you both colorways. Here's my extra flosses, because it's gonna take multiple skeins of a couple of the colors. But I really like that. And that when that's all done, that's gonna get like framed, hung on the wall. <laughs> oh, when it'll get done. <laughs> Uh, okay, next. You guys have seen this recently. This is New York City by Awesome Pattern Studio. And it was part of the my calendar, my cross-stitch calendar that came with 12 patterns. And I am stitching this on, fairly certain, 16 count white Ada. Is it 16? It's 16 or 18. Probably 16. Like it really matters. It's white Ada. <laughs> so whatever size you want it to be. And with the called for DMC. And that's where I am. You guys saw this maybe a week or two ago. I hasn't gotten any more progress on it, but there's where I am. So there's all my flosses. There was uh, the common threaded stitcher hashtag on Instagram that I'm having so much fun with. I am loving reading everybody's. I've gotten behind. I was doing really well for a while. And then I think it was like most complicated finish. I'm like, I haven't hardly finished anything because I'm fairly new and I don't have a lot of stuff anyway. Um, I don't know. I guess I could have put my grandmother's praying hands up there, but you guys have seen those all recently. But what the most recent one, one of the most recent ones was thread stash. And honestly, most of my threads are kitted. Like I have boxes of DMC that I've used that aren't being used right now, but most of my floss is kitted up. So there you go. I, I know that some people work from like a master set and they just pull as they're working on it. I'm currently just kitting every project up with floss because I'm buying it for that project anyway. So. Next up, hands-on design, knee high. Love that. And we're actually headed back to Indiana, not Indiana, but the Midwest in 
September and October. And I think I started this when I went to Indiana in July. And I think that I'm going to take it with me on both of those trips because we're going to be back in Indiana in October. We're going to be in Michigan in September. And I think this is just going to be like Midwest stitching. So here's where I am on it. And it is on a piece of um, 16 count Ada that I tea coffee dyed myself. So that's how far I am. And I am using all of the called for over dyed, except for um, this green back here called for guacamole. And I hadn't, I think it was guacamole. I don't know. I hadn't bought it. I thought that I had, but I had it. And I had um, kidnapped up with another project or had corn husk. So I'm using corn husk because that seemed very appropriate. But I think that's the only substitution. Otherwise, it's all called for overnights. So that's knee high. And I really love that pattern, so I'm excited to have a reason to work on that again. Is this what happens during whip parades? Everybody's like, oh, I love this. I want to work on it some more. Seems like it might be. Oh, I don't have my phone with me, guys. I was going to show you. I just got the next project is the Hello Pumpkin Stitch Along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I don't have like all I have is the pattern the fourth the fourth section is it the fourth month four month four out of five just dropped I have finished month two and I've, I've finished month one and I've started month two so this is where I am on that and this is on 18 count white Ada with the called for DMC flosses so I'm behind what are you going to do? I'm not too worried about it. It's really cute. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a link to that below so you guys can go see it. And, oh, next up is it's nap time. And this came as part of a, it was the bonus pattern in a box from Plastic Little Covers on Etsy. I love her patterns. And she's now released this you can buy just this pattern usually with the boxes the the stitchy boxes is a month or two after that month after that box has gone out she'll release the patterns to buy individually so this is now finally released it was a bonus pattern so i don't have a picture of it because all i have is the pattern so it says it's nap time there's like three pink circles and three blue circles and some gray background and yellow kind of shooting off star things is what it's going to look like. So, and that's how far I am. And there are a couple more really fun patterns or, that came in that box. One that says Queen of Sleep. And I can't remember what the other one says, but they're cute patterns. I haven't started those. Well, I don't even think I brought those in. The... I mean, bring that with the stuff that's kitted up. <laughs> but it is because it was a kit. It came as a kit. Okay. Next up is a um, Autumn Drum by the Blue Flower. And this is my black and white copy. So, because this is my working copy, I should have brought over the actual pretty copy. But if you go look at the Blue Flower on Instagram, uh, Jolyn, who does beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finishing, and did this, I believe she did this finish of the model, did like an alternate finish. And instead of taking the drum, she did it as a wrap on this like cute little like wood caddy thing and turned the top into a small. It's amazing. I'm going to give her all of my money to finish it that way for me when I'm done. This did come as a kit. It's exclusive kit to Acorns and Threads. They still have some, so you can call the shop and get it. And it the kit comes with um, the kit comes with 
40 count vintage pecan butter linen by Lakeside. So that came in the kit. I have not even attempted 40 count yet. This was like one of the first projects I bought that even with, did linen and 40 count, no, no. And it also came with all the silks. Hold please. I'm back. We're trying to adopt a dog. We've never had a dog. We're trying to adopt a dog. Find a good fit for us. I'm trying to find a good fit for the family. And the middle daughter is on a mission. So she was showing me a dog. Okay, where was I? Bottom drum, blue flower. I swapped out the fabric for 36 count flax. I know you guys are all surprised. And this is how far I am. I started with the top. I've got the acorn. I started on a little squirrel. It comes with all of the silks you need. And they are, they're so fabulous to work with guys. I wanna stitch in nothing but silk, but my pocketbook cannot handle me stitching all the projects I went to stitch in silk. But it is, I thought it was like a great deal for the kit with the every, with the silk and the fabric. And I think it even had a needle in it. So you can call Acorns and Threads and get that, and that's how far I am. On the top, and I have fabric in here for the side of the drum as well. I haven't started that yet, but now I really want to. I want to get it done so that I can give it to Jolyn and she can finish it for me. Because either as a drum or as a little wrap on a caddy, which I think is going to be the way to go. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, next. What is this? It's like Christmas. What is this? Oh, okay. I'm kind of counting this as a, I'm counting this as one whip and I'm counting it as a whip. So this is hands-on design chalkboard ornaments part one. And I finished believe I haven't started the other two. So is that is this a whip? Sort of? I don't know. But I'm doing it on all the, like, on one piece of fabric. So there's Believe. But I have room for, like, all the rest of them. So I'm just leaving it in here. And either I'll get to them and finish them or come, like, the beginning, end of November, I'll actually just finish this off. And I don't know. So this is being done on 16 count chalk. It's called chalk. 16 count chalkboard black Ada. So 16 count chalkboard black Ada with the called for threads. There's only a couple of them. One of them's a DMC. So I'm calling that a whip even though this one's done and the other ones aren't started. Series, that's a whip. So I, you guys are probably like, Aaron, this is not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up, guys. <laughs> All right, next. This, this, this is almost a UFO, but we'll pretend that it's not. Where's the where's the cover picture? Gotta find the cover picture. Oh, it's right there. Dog on fire. This is fine. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. I, if I finish it, it's just going to be this panel. I am going to use this for a, an extra credit if I get to it for this month. Um, it's just DMC. It's 16 count. It's 16 count or 18 count? I don't even know. Did I write down on here? I wasn't so good, guys, when I first started of writing what I was stitching on. It's white, Ada. It's either 16 or 18. It's probably 18. Yeah, looks like 18. 18 count white, Ada, called for DMC. You can see I cut it for both panels, fully intending to do both panels. It's just it's a lot. It's a lot of big blocks of color. I love the cartoon, and it was a free pattern in... I can't remember which Facebook group. Snarky Nerdy Cross Stitch, maybe? 
um, someone had charted it with permission from the cartoonist and put it in the file section. I, you can find it. I mean, do a little Googling around. I'm sure you're going to be able to find it. It's just, it's a weird color palette. I mean, it's very true to the cartoon, but it's just not super fun to stitch. But my youngest daughter would really like to have it. And I, I do love the cartoon. And this is how I feel all the time is the world's on fire. And we're all just pretending it's fine. I don't know. So that's almost a UFO, except that I do use it. It's in my whip album for magical stitches. And I do sometimes use it for homework. But otherwise, I don't really touch it. Um. Oh, this one I don't have a cover picture for. Just the pattern. Uh, do I have the sheet that tells me who it's by, at least? If not, I will. Oh, a thousand tiny X's is the Etsy, Etsy store. So, a thousand tiny X's. A thousand tiny X's. That's the Etsy store. And this is um, the sign from The Good Place that says, Welcome, everything is fine. I'll link it below. The ones that I don't have a picture for, I'll link to the listing on Etsy. Um, this is a really fun, easy stitch because it's all, I think it's charted. I can't remember what green it's charted for, but I chose 702 because I thought it was more true to what I think of as that sign being on the good place. So I'm using 702. It's nice because it's single color, easy, easy stitching. This is how far I am. I have all of welcome done now. It's just some of it's under the Q-snap. And this is on 18 count, 18 count white Ada. So that's how far I am. I've used it recently. Might've been last week uh, for homework. Which is about the only time I work on it is if it comes up for homework or if it's homework. Because I'm not in a huge... Like, when it gets done, I'll absolutely I'll be hanging in our entryway. Because I just think that's funny. Apparently, everything is fine in my world. It's all fine. It's all fine, people. All right. Holiday Quaker by Lila Studio is the next one. Where do I have one of this on? Oh, this is on 36 count pearl gray linen. This is how far I am. This is a big project. I don't think I realized, this was one of the ones that I didn't realize how big it was. I think even when I started, like even, even buying this big of a piece of fabric, it wasn't until I really started stitching it and spent a good chunk of time stitching on it that I realized how long-term of a project this is, but but I love it. I love the pattern. So fun. And I am stitching this with, um, was, is this called for DMC or did it call for all? Yes, these are all the called for threads. So it called for a mix of overdyes and DMC. There you go. So this will be a, I don't know, 2021 holiday finish. Let's shoot for that. Because <laughs> I don't think that's happening for next year, guys. I don't know. Not at the rate that I'm starting things, but. And this is in the Stiddle Daddles Designs project bag that I love so much. I love their bags. We're getting to the bottom of my whips, guys. See, it's not really that many. It's really, really not. All right, next up is Mill Hill Latte Button and Beads. And this is the Mill Hill kit. You guys know all the stuff comes in it. That's how far I am. I'm going to actually be working on this some um, this weekend for extra credit in Magical Stitches, which is pretty much what I end up using it for as it comes up for Magical Stitches homework. But I like it. It's going to be by my little coffee spot when it's done. It's fun. I like those little mill hill kits. I don't mind the perforated paper. 
I like them. I think they're fun. Bottom of the basket, guys. This is this is a free chart from with thy needle and thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the chart because you can get it for free. It's called May Sampler on their blog. There it is. Two little birdies, basket, key. I mean, I love a good key. Um, and this is on that same, I think I started this for a, I needed to find something that would fit for homework. And my friend had just given me that same, this is the same linen that Arranging Vegetables is on. That Charles Craft Irish 28 count linen, like mystery linen. And uh, I wanted to try stitching on linen. And so I found a free chart and I picked out, like, because it's just, it doesn't give you suggested colors. It just shows you like what colors you need. So I picked out some colors. So these are the colors that I chose for it because I did want something springy. And I really like that. I would it'd be nice to get this done for this spring. What do we think? possible I might want to get moving it's a lot of border that's all I have done so far and it's kind of a big basket but we'll see I don't really ever I don't work on this all that much I don't know why hmm. and it just doesn't fit into a lot of homework so that's it that's it the end of my basket random needle threader random Q-snap cover. That's all that's in the basket, guys. Yay! So that's all the whips. That's everything that I've actually started. So now on to, I brought them over in a tote. Plans and, oh goodness, hold on. Rearranging. Move this over here. There's gonna have to be a major reset before regular. Before regular weekly update floss tube commences. Okay. So I brought over the things that I already have planned to start and then everything that I have kitted up. So under plans to start, cannot believe I did not bring that pattern over. Playing with Jack's Cricut Collection. I don't even have my phone on me. Um, I will talk more about that in the weekly update. And I will bring the pattern over and show you playing with jacks because that is all ready to go. I'm doing it on this fabric, which is a 32 count Belfast in the colorway Valor that I got off Stash and Load. So I'm doing it on that fabric. I have it all kitted up with the DMCs and I'm using the alternate um, forest pumpkin. And so I did get one silken color for that alternate forest pumpkin instead of the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin in the middle. I will be a better floss tuber and bring the um, pattern with me to show you for regular update. So that's the first thing on plans. That's going to be started next week on next week? 28th. Yes, next week. So that it will start on the 28th. We do have a stitch along going. Leslie Hurley is stitching along. Um, you can get a discount on all of the materials for that. All of that information is in last week's video. I'll probably reiterate it in this week's video, but go check out the drop down box of last week's. I want to say it's Floss Tube 12. Hot mess. Okay. Also starting on the 30th is, I am starting Game of Swans. Um, Carolyn Zook, maybe Jan Hicks? Is Jan Hicks involved in this too, Carolyn, or is it just you? Is doing a long dog, long dog sampler stitch along. So any long dog starting on the 30th, that is all ready to go. I have all of the threads. I am going to rinse these. This is like on the list of things to do. Remember we've had this whole conversation about color fast, not color fast, rinsing them. I'm going to give these a rinse and see because I've been really torn guys with something this big. Oh, I am doing one DMC. 
instead of, I'm using the DMC instead of soot. Instead of soot, I'm using the DMC because oh, it just seemed like an easy substitute place to substitute, so it didn't look very variegated to me. Um, so I am gonna rinse these because I've been very torn. I'm gonna be doing it on 36 count silvery moon, which I need to search the edges to before surge. Like I have a serger. I overlock stitch, like I overcast stitch on my regular sewing machine. I don't have a serger. I'm not that fancy of a sewer, but uh I stitch in hand. I've bought scroll rods. I've kind of looked at them. I've tried playing with them. I have Q-snaps. I will use Q-snaps. You did see some of my stuff on Q-snaps for Ada projects, especially if the Ada is really stiff and rough because it's not as nice to hold in hand. Um, but I'm finding with the linen and the even weaves and the softer over dyed um, Ada's, that I just, I learned to stitch in hand. It's how I like to stitch. But I am worried that with this being such a big piece and being handled so much, even though I wash my hands anytime before I pick up stitching and I don't eat while I'm stitching. So, I, but I am worried with handling this this much that I'm going to want to wash it when it's done. So I'm gonna rinse these and see what happens. So I'm gonna do the whole rinsing and hot water business. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how that works out. But that is starting on August 30th. So those are my like hard and fast plans. My other, I plan to start projects. I started all Halloween, autumn things this month. And I was planning next month to start like Thanksgiving-ish things, which I think in my head I thought, oh, August, September, if I start them, they'll be done by Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't know. Like they're not. They'll be done next year. But I do kind of like to stitch like just a little bit ahead of the season. Like I don't want to stitch spring things right now. I don't even want to stitch summer things right now. Like summer's almost over. So I'm just going with it. We're starting it. Starting all the things. So I have, these are not totally kitted up. Anything that I don't have, I'm going to get at Acorns and Threads uh, during first Thursday. So we'll see what I don't have. But these are things I'm going to start next month. I think the first week I'll be working on Game of Swans because that starts like the 30th. So that's really, I'm going to count that as like my first week of September start. But also in September, I want to start, I'm planning to start Turkey Bay because turkeys in the water. I mean, and look at all the flowers and the little acorn. I love it. Um, gobble gob. And I think Amy from Amy Loves Toads, I think she said she had this and was planning to start this as well. Am I right, Amy? Are we going to sell this? Let me know. And also going to do Be Thankful uh, by Shepherd's Bush because I have bought the buttons. I have the buttons. And then I was looking at this today because I was like, oh, I better start thinking about getting everything ready for this. It calls for 10 count Tula Country Mocha. 10 count. Three strands. Three strands over one square. I have some 22 count Ada. That again was uh, along with the little Ada like square, like pre framed. What do you call that? Pre stretched? Along with those little things that I'm doing the energy saving mode on, this was part of that like, hey, I have this stuff. And it's some 22 count like cream Ada. And I think my plan is I'm going to tea coffee dye it so it's not so cream. And then it's 22 count, so I'm thinking I'm going to stitch over two on Ada. Is that dumb? What do we think about that? Because it's tiny. It looks more like an even weave. Like, I don't think, I can't imagine, like, ever doing a quarter stitch on it anyway. And these are all full crosses. Full crosses, a little back stitch. So I'm thinking I'm going to do 22 count over two. Three, two? 
two strands, two or three strands, we'll see, over two. That's my plan. What do we think? And then if I feel like I just must start one more thing, I'm gonna start Cinnamon Stars. So that is September plans. And then I think come October, it's gonna be time to go back to Christmas starts. Cause I'll be ready to maybe do some more Christmas stitching come October. What do we think? Okay. So those are plans. And now all I have left, seriously guys, this is an hour. How have you guys been watching this for so long? I thank you guys so much for even caring about any of this. Uh, so sweet. Okay. So that's whips and plans. Now I'll show you guys what I have kitted up ready to go for Sunday starts. I mean, some of these were bought as kits. So I showed you guys this recently. I got this from 1884 Stitchery. Is this Michael Powell um, Tuscan Gardens? And that, so that's all ready to go. That's got everything you need. It's got floss, fabric, startable at any time. This, I would have thought I would have started. Oh, I might need to start this. I just don't even know. Guys, so many things. These are patterns from the Witchy Stitcher. And I, it was a set of five. It's called the Haunted Mansion Pattern Bundle. Seriously, I love the Haunted Mansion. It is my favorite Disneyland ride. I bought this whole bundle for this pattern here. That is the wallpaper. That's the wallpaper in the Haunted Mansion. I have it that I set it as like a background on my phone in the fall. Um, so I bought the whole bundle pretty much for that. But I have printed out this one. The thing is, I'm not going to start this. I want to find the exact right frame. Like when I find the perfect, like, because I want to do it like an oval like this with some kind of like super funky black frame. And it doesn't even have to be a black. I will paint it black. I just need to find the right frame. And once I do, then I'll stitch it. But until I find the right frame, I don't know what dimensions to stitch. Does that seem, because it's like a tiled pattern. So you can make it as small or as big as you want. So I'm waiting for the right frame. While I was buying that, I also got Welcome Foolish Mortals. And um, I've printed out, so that one's printed out, and then I've also printed out to do from this set, the 99 Happy Haunts. So those three patterns I am going to do. And I bought the fabric for it because it's just, it's just a couple colors of DMC uh, that I have. So I have the DMC for it. I also got Glow in the Dark DMC because I want to do like these candles. I want to do glow in the dark and the eyes. I want to do glow in the dark. So I have all the threads and I also bought 16 count Ada in the colorway Phantom. And I got a big piece. I don't know, what is this? 17 by 26. So I got a big piece. So I have definitely enough to do two or three of those patterns. So I'm calling this kitted up because I've got a big old whack of fabric. I have the DMC. I will probably do Welcome Foolish Mortals first. Should I start that next month? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, this might be confusing my plans. So, but that's kitted up, ready to go. Like three of them, really. This I also want to start very soon and is super kitted up. This is some of the stuff you guys have seen in haul because I've, I'm i pretty new. All my haul is pretty new. So you guys have seen most of this. So this is hands-on design. Love my stitching. And it was a project bag collaboration um, with So Much To Love. And you guys know I love their project bags. So it's the pattern. and for this piece here, plus all the instructions on how to make the bag. So I have the 14 count Ada to stitch it with. I got 
the fabric to make the bags. These are the fabrics that I chose. Oh, look at those teal and greens, come on. So this is the fabric for the bag. I even have the Jumbo Rick Rack. I don't have the zipper yet. And then I got DMC to go with, and I just need a dark gray. I just need to pick out one of the dark gray DMCs. Maybe 3772? I think that's a dark gray. I'm making that up, but I think that's a dark gray. So, seriously. I mean, talk about kitted up. I have fabric, I have floss, I have rickrack. The only thing I think I need is a zipper. And I really want to do this because I feel like once I've got the instructions, if I make one successfully, hi. Okay. She's leaving for the studio. You're bringing home Becca. Okay. Okay. She wants me to check my text because she sent me possible dogs. Um, but I really want to do this because I feel like if I successfully make one project bag, I have other patterns that I have bought to turn into project bags. Before I've even successfully done it once, I have faith. I have faith in myself. So that's super kitted up. I would love to have a good reason to start that and finish that. I need more time. I know, you're like, why don't you start that instead of one of the other million projects? I don't know. I should. This I think I just showed you guys last week, Little House Needleworks, Cardinal Winter. That's all ready to go because I bought the Fancy Floss. I have the other DMCs and I have some 18 count Vintage Country Mocha Ada to put it on. That's all ready to go. Also ready to go is Christmas Tea by Brenda Gervais. Same little mice from Plum Pudding. Aren't they cute except they're making Christmas tea. Got all the flosses, I have linen. All ready to go. Heartstring samplery, heartstring samplery stitch or die. Because when I kitted that up for my 500 subscriber giveaway, I kitted one up for myself. Although I'll probably make some changes because that cat's for sure going to be black. But I got everything. I have linen. That one's all ready to go. Um, this I got off Stash Unload with everything. It was a mystery sampler club from Lizzie Kate. What's it called? Holly and Hearts. That's pretty. Maybe I'll start that in October. That's really pretty, but it had everything all ready to go. Start that anytime. Summer at Cherry Hill. I bought that stash unload with all of the threads. It needs linen, but I mean, or fabric, but I've got fabric. I'll find a fabric to put that on. I could start that tomorrow if I, my heart so desired. Oh, this I think you guys have seen recently. It's just a little mill hub kit. I'll probably start that soonish. <laughs> little magnet. Oh, this is a good one. Forget Me Not Sampler by Brenda Gervais. And this was a club kit from like years ago. And um, I had seen Farm Girl. Farm Girl Loves Goats had showed it. I think maybe she did it in Mania. I don't know. And then like literally the next day or that day, Acorns and Threads posted that they had found a box of them in their back room. I don't know if they have any more, but they might call them and ask. It was just a couple months ago, but that has everything in it. Chart, linen, floss. It's all ready to go. I love that. Look at the great big huge urn and the little girl, the little person and the tiny house and the great big huge, <laughs> love it. Okay. Oh, this is gonna get started in October, I think. Pomegranate sampler, pomegranate sampler. Santa, that's clearly Santa. <laughs> pomegranate Santa. <laughs> All ready to go. This I think I got from Bendy Stitchy D Stash. And uh, it was a, looks like a club kit from Silver Needle. 
by Summer House Stitch Works Forever Friends. Love that. And that's all ready to go. That was a, I mean, like needle, thread, like backing, fabric, everything. All ready to go. I just love that. It's all ready to go. I'll make that for somebody at some point. I really like that. And then this is a big one, and it's like all <laughs> get it up ready to go because I was not sure which long dog I was going to do. I also have cardinal points. God, I love this chart. And this is because of Christine. Watching Christine stitch on this. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I even have fabric for it. I have a 36 count white even weave ready to go. All the threads. I'm going to have to finish Game of Swans first, so that could be a while. That could be in the pile for a while. So that's it. That's everything that's all kitted and ready to go. You guys have seen it all. There's nothing more to see here. Nothing more. Except a stash of patterns that I haven't even started to kit up yet. And I'm starting to outgrow. I've been shoving everything into the ottoman, like it's a storage ottoman at my stitchy spot. And I, I'm going to need a different, I'm going to need to do some kind of organization with the patterns that I am accumulating. So I'm thinking that's going to be a September project to maybe do some rearranging, organizing. Uh, I need to maybe turn a little corner in um, our office bonus room down here into a more organized, like, cross-stitch corner to keep stuff. So... That's it. If you guys stuck with me through all this, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun showing you guys everything that I have going. That's it. That's all I've got. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if I forgot to tell you anything about any of them. And uh, I will see you for regular floss tube update later this evening. Cheers.